So here's your chart. Now, you remember this diagram from when we did all of the anatomy. What we're going to look at then is when they have a cleft lip, we're going to put a plus or minus under suction. Are they able to generate suction? You already know the answer to that. Compression. How's compression? Does that work when there's a cleft lip? How's their swallow? Are there more issues that could cause aspiration? And then does it affect their respiration? And we're going to go through and we're just going to make pluses and minuses. This um, a chart similar to this is in the Wolf and Glass book, I believe. That's where I got the idea. So, with cleft lip, for the suck, the two parts, the lip seal is compromised, which affects the ability to produce negative pressure. So now, depending on the size of the cleft, they might be able to still occlude and still generate suction, especially um, if the baby is breastfed because the breast tissue can fill in that gap and they might still be able to nurse beautifully and actually do better nursing than bottle feeding. But if it's a really large cleft, they may not be able to, uh, to occlude it. 